Tattooing dates at least as far back as the Bronze Age. A 5,000-year-old body found in a European glacier had several tattoos on his skin. Archaeologists have even uncovered what they believe are Stone Age tattooing instruments, sharp bone needles and clay discs containing mineral pigments. Walk into a tattoo parlor and the vast selection of elaborate designs will astound you. Once you make your choice, the tattoo artist traces the image. Next, he places the traced image on carbon paper and retraces the lines. This creates a carbon outline of the tattoo on the reverse side. The artist will use this blueprint, as it's called, as his guide. He cleans the customer's skin, then firmly presses on the blueprint. The carbon image transfers easily because the skin is damp. Now it's time to construct the needles. Most tattoos require two needles, one to make the outline of the image, the other to shade and color it in. Each needle is made up of as many as 20 smaller needles. The artist aligns these small needles in a jig, then solders them together onto one end of a steel rod. There's an eye on the other end. The number of small needles in a needle depends on the tattoo design, how thick its lines are, how big its colored areas are. The finished needles go into an autoclave to be sterilized. That takes 20 minutes at precisely 170 degrees Celsius. The tattoo artist uses that time to assemble the tattoo gun. After cleaning the frame with rubbing alcohol, he installs the motor called the coil. When an electric current runs through the coil, it oscillates the needle at up to 50 times per second. Once the two needles are sterilized, he takes the one for outlining, called the liner, and slides it into the tattoo gun. He hooks the eye on the other end onto the spring. As the spring moves back and forth, it moves the needle up and down. The tattoo artist stops and starts it with a foot pedal, like a sewing machine. Time to tattoo. He turns on the power supply to 10 volts and dabs the needle in the ink cap. The gun sucks up the ink. Some petroleum jelly on the skin helps the needle glide more easily. He begins by tracing the lines of the blueprint. The needle punctures the skin at a rate of up to 3,000 times per minute, injecting microparticles of ink which intermingle with the cells of the dermis, the skin's second layer. The artist continually wipes away the excess ink to keep his work area clean. After finishing the outline, he reapplies petroleum jelly. This seals the pores of the skin and prevents bleeding. Then he changes to the other needle and begins shading and coloring the image with a back and forth movement. He applies one color at a time, overlapping them to ensure thorough and even coverage. The needle can penetrate from one to four millimeters, and a good tattoo artist knows just how deep to go to create the different parts of the image. For example, he has to inject the outline the deepest, but going too deep can tear the skin and cause excessive pain and bleeding. But not going deep enough misses the dermis and leaves marks after healing. The cells of the dermis are remarkably stable, so tattoos last a lifetime. This tattoo has taken approximately 45 minutes to do from start to finish. The area will dry and scab over. Then, the scab will fall off, and this body art will be ready for exhibition.